I guess I would say my main material is glass and a lot of the other materials I work with stem from that affinity for glass. It's resilience, it's translucency, it's reflective qualities. So even though there are a lot of materials I work with, they do tend to work together well because they stem from that affinity. I always wonder how I can present a piece in a way that reveals all of its different properties at once. So it's problem solving, it's analytical, and then it's the art of learning when to let go. And I'm always trying to strike that balance between my intellect and my intuition. Pretty early on in my studio practice, I realized that my process is largely driven by my sense of materiality. I found these massive panels of architectural glass in a dumpster and I was so drawn to them. I needed them and I didn't know why. It was a magnetic feeling. But I hauled them into my studio with a team of people and labored over them for a long time before I was able to figure out why I needed these ridiculously large pieces of glass. Eventually through some research I stumbled upon this chemical process that I could use to manipulate the glass optically. I have a real love for the purity of elements as they are, so even though I'm an abstract artist, I do take ownership of the material itself as the content of the work. I think that's why I just clicked with the silvering process. It allows me to work with the glass in a way that is intrinsic to its properties. I love how these panes can be translucent and clear and reflective all at once just because of this simple process that's depositing silver on the glass. When I'm working alone in the studio there are these moments where I become more like a child. I become less interested in controlling the material and more interested in what this substrate has to offer. And a lot of these processes require an analytical mindset. So it can be frustrating when the glass breaks or the silver tarnishes, something goes awry. But those are the moments I've learned when I really need to stop and pay attention. What could be happening that I couldn't have planned on my own? Something that's more beautiful than I could have imagined. Something bigger than me.
That kind of mindset I've learned, it requires openness. It requires humility, a willingness to admit that I'm wrong and to change. I think for me, art is about survival. And when it's how I'm making a living, it can be the very physical, practical type of surviving. Pay your bills, pay your rent. But on a good day, it's more about the survival of your soul. People are meant to be creative. It's what makes us really alive. And my work has taught me so much about myself and the world around me. And that wells up gratitude in me. It makes me want to give back. I feel this responsibility to share my perspective with others, to help them to see and appreciate the beauty around them. <laughs>